Yo what's up guys my name is James and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on Windows 10 how to increase boot speeds and shutdown speeds. So to start off with on your desktop you're going to want to go to the bottom left hand corner where the Windows key is. You want to right click and then go to system. It will then bring up a system tab. You want to go over to the left and click advanced system settings. Then go to the advanced tab and then under performance click settings. This will automatically be set to let Windows choose what's best for my computer and that automatically ticks a lot of these options which does slow down Windows because all these things are basically animations. So what you want to do is go down to adjust for best performance which will untick everything. Um, if you do want to tick certain stuff you can tick a few things and then click apply and then it will change it to custom. But for me I just leave it as adjust for best performance and then click apply then OK and OK again and then close out of this tab again. Then the second thing you want to do is at the bottom where it says search the web and windows click in there and type in MS config and then at the top you will see MS config run commands you want to click that. This will then load up the system configuration tab where you can change all your boot stuff and your services which start up on boot. So basically what, what you want to do first is go over to boot then it will show you what operating system you have, so Windows 10. First thing you want to do is go over to advanced options and then you want to tick number of processes and change it to the max available, so mine is 4. And then again with memory, max memory, you want to tick it and change it to the max amount of memory which is your RAM. So I have 8 gigabytes of RAM installed, so mine is 8192. After you've changed both of them, click OK. Then what you can also do is click no GUI on boot. So basically what this will do is it will it will show a black screen on like as you turn on your computer and it will increase boot speed. So you can do that if you want or if you like to see Windows load up you can leave it unticked. But I personally tick it. Uh, timeout will be automatically set to 30 seconds. So you want to change it to 3. Then you want to go over to the startup tab. And in Startup in Windows 10, you have to do it through Task Manager, so click Open Task Manager. This will then show all your programs open on Startup. Uh, you, you might want to keep some of these enabled, so if anything which is important for your computer to work properly on boot up, leave enabled. But you can untick a lot of these, so you can disable a lot of them. So, well, with me, I've disabled everything because nothing actually affects my system whatsoever. So you can click on whichever one you want and then click enable or disable down here and after you've chosen what you want to disable and enable close out of that. The next thing you want to do is go to the services tab back in system configuration and then go to the left and bottom corner and tick the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Then this will then show a list of all the applications which are trying to boot up or all the services which are trying to boot up from programs on your computer on startup all these will affect boot time so you want to untick anything which you might think is unnecessary so for example Adobe Flash Player updater completely unnecessary Google update so these are for Google Chrome you want to untick all them uh, so yeah, basically anything which is update related or anything which you think will not affect your system you want to untick and then when you're done click apply and hit OK. Then what you want to do is go back into the boot tab and then tick make all my boot settings permanent, hit apply and then come up with this little box, just click yes then click OK. And then that is it guys, a nice little quick tutorial, so if this tutorial helps you at all, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys.